at a seven-round light middleweight battle between Roy McGowan and Manson Gibson. It was a good one, and we pick up the action after McGowan had just received a cut between his eyes, and we pick up the action to start round six. The heel of the foot of Manson Gibson as it came around and caught him. Now, remember, that is the, one of the hardest parts of your body, is that heel. Let's see if that's the part that hit. It that looks like it very much could be. It hit, right, Joe. hit, I can't tell if it hit uh, between the eyes or on the side of the head, but that, that, that becomes an impact split. It's not a cut that the skin compresses and then splits. It may have come over the right eye, but it tore over the left eye. Actually, right between, as you see, on McGowan there on the close-up. McGowan could not be less, uh, less upset about it, I don't think. I don't either. I doubt it very much. Now two rounds or less to go. And what, Joe Corley, what do you have? A pretty even fight? Yeah, I had uh, I had Gibson coming back pretty well in that last fight. Crowd uh, saw a lot for McCallum the last time, but Gibson was looking pretty good. Again, Gibson with a slip. trying to cut the ring off but Gibson is a slippery customer and he continues to circle to his right he's on his he's on his bicycle right now boom boom I don't know if he's on his bicycle but he sure hit some pretty good one now Gibson appears a bit tired McGowan with a pretty good left hand Gibson sort of winding up now for those spinning back kicks they don't come quite as easily as they did in the first couple of rounds get him up now get him up Cowan just doesn't have the steam to go barreling into Gibson like he did earlier on. You wonder how much the cut has affected his offensive attitude. I would say uh, very little. Doesn't seem like the kind of guy that would slow down. He kind of waits, he winds up, and he goes drilling in with the kind of kick that you used to knock a door down if your favorite pet was in there and the house was on fire. Great analogy. Final 30 seconds, round six. Less than two and a half minutes to go in the whole fight. Seventh and final round will be coming up. Doesn't look like anybody's going to be down before this round ends. What a kick. Jump spinning back kick right in the body. Uh, McCown a little off balance, but uh, I guarantee a lot of that force went into Gibson's body. He is in shape to accept that. Good lead right hand by Gibson, and the bell sounds to end six rounds of furious action in the light middleweight division. You know, Brad, you were asking if a cut like that and you see the blood coming down of the face of a guy. It reminds me on any kind of sports. I honestly believe, and I believe Joe when he says that because he was in the sports before, I honestly believe that when you see a cut like that or a blood, unless it's a major cut, it won't affect you at all. The only thing we'll, okay. we'll do to you is to, you just want to go there and take him so badly it's unbelievable, unless it's a major cut on top of the eyes or whatever it can block your view. But you see, that's between the eyes. And uh, I guarantee you one thing, that tomorrow morning this young man is going to have two black eyes and might swell up and might have another 15 stitches. But uh, I, I don't think that will affect him for the seven round. There's the bell for the seventh and final round. And the two fighters thought about a tap of gloves. Gibson maybe faked that a little bit, hoping McGowan would walk into a spinning back kick, and the crowd answers that with a round of booze. You know, one of the things about having been in karate for so many years, you know, to get a black belt is it's just, karate guys just don't like that. You know, you say, well, those are the rules, and you can take advantage of it, but I, I, don't, I don't think I like it still. Trying to go to work in this seventh round to pick up the points he may have lost in round six when Gibson was pretty impressive. McGowan still on the attack, and Gibson rewarding him off with the sidekicks. It's been a pretty effective defensive weapon for him. Yeah, but Brad, you see the difference now with the experience. See, he knows Gibson, I honestly believe he knows that he... He almost won this fight, which I doubted very much, but this fight is not over. 
So he's not he's not running towards the Roy. He's waiting for Roy to come to him. I've got him dead even myself, 58.5 to 58.5, but it's a tough one to score. Very tough one to score. Those sidekicks are picking up points for uh, Gibson. McGowan looking for an opening. John Montek screaming at McCowan in the corner, go Roy, but Roy just hadn't been these seven rounds enough times. Right and left round kick by McGowan. Fans may have overreacted. Final seconds to the final round. McGowan looking to load up for one more big punch. There's a spinning back fist and a good one for Gibson. And there's the bell, it's all over. But McCown finally at the very last shot of the fight puts his right hand up to protect the right side of his face, which he hadn't done earlier. Roy McGowan with hands held aloft, and there is Manson Gibson. McGowan with the blood trickling down over his nose in front of the hometown fans thinks that maybe he won it. Well, we will find out if he did or if that man did, Manson Gibson. We'll take a quick time out here. When we come back, we'll have the decision on this seven-round light middleweight battle. We'll be back in Rockford. Non-stop action in the light middleweight division between Roy McGowan and Manson Gibson. I'll tell you one thing. It took the judges quite a while to find out who the winner was. Why don't we find out? Here's Mike Marino, our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Keeney scores the bout 69 to 67. Judge Wagner scores the bout 69.5 to 68. And Judge Johnson scores the bout 69.5 to 67 for your winner by unanimous decision, Roy McCowan.